Hello again, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a source-based firewall policy based on a device's MAC address on your Sophos XG firewall. Implementing source MAC filtering will allow us to enforce a much stricter rule set as it prevents any user from just setting a static IP address and potentially being grouped into a more relaxed and less strict firewall policy based on our particular zone or network. When we implement our firewall policies, they should be as specific and precise as possible. And with this approach to access controls and policy building, it's going to give us that added layer of security. So you may consider using this as an alternative to enforcing authentication, especially on some of those legacy devices such as printers that don't always have the ability to join a domain or provide authentication credentials. Let's go ahead and jump into the web admin and take a look. We'll navigate over here to protect and firewall to build our access control policies and add a new firewall rule. Select the user network rule. And before I get started building out our network rule here, you can actually build your MAC address objects in advanced, which might be the better route to go if you have a large list of MAC address objects we're wanting to implement. But we also have the ability to create our MAC hosts right here under MAC list, where we can create an individual MAC address or also group MAC addresses. So if you want to create those in advance, we're going to come down here to System, Hosts and Services, and MAC host. And we can create those hosts right here. So we'll jump back over here to our firewall rule. Add firewall rule, user network rule, give our rule a name. Select our source zone. Again, this is always going to be where our traffic is originating from. Select our MAC address objects, or again, we can go ahead and just create those right here. And I guess before I get too far, in this example, we are just using a, a printer for our device, but this could be any MAC address uh, for any NIC that's in any device. Select our destination zone. This is where our traffic is going to go to. And here, if you don't have network domain services, you can still attach an identity to the printer through our live users where we can actually associate a user profile with a particular IP address. In our example here, we'll just stick with our MAC address object. And as always, we can apply any kind of web and malware content type scanning to our firewall policy, which is always a good idea. Go ahead and log our traffic and select Save. We can add some additional layers of security, which we'll cover in future videos, such as IP spoof prevention and attaching identity to our firewall policies, either through Active Directory, single sign-on, or live users. And that's really it. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're notified of future video releases. Give us the thumbs up and be sure to come and check us out at firewalls.com. It's www.firewalls.com. Get secure. Stay secure.